Hi there, Internet. My name's Ollie and I love air guns. Welcome to the Classic Air Gun Show. Hello, Internet. Welcome to the second episode of the Classic Air Gun Show. In the first episode, we looked at one of the classic 80s, 90s uh, underlever British spring air rifles, the, uh, the Webley Eclipse. We looked at a Mark II from the 90s. So we're going to have another look at a, a very similar air rifle from the same era. And again, one that was inspired by uh, by Firearc 77. Now, of all of the sort of imitation, particularly the British imitations of that air rifle, this is the one that sort of came closest to really, and, and probably even potentially surpassing uh, the quality of its German rival. So today we're going to look at the, the Air Arms TX200. Here we've got a full length early Mark III version. Now when Air Arms brought out the Mark I, uh, they actually sort of had a, a very close, some would say almost carbon copy of uh, of the Virac. There are a few little innovations within there that sort of took it beyond. Uh, firstly, had a, a much slicker sort of front end latch just sort of a, a very simple ball bearing detent, um, but, but stood the test of time. Also, it came with a, an integral silencer. So the 77s, particularly the early ones, uh, it was incredibly difficult to sort of smoothly add uh, a silencer, and it was, it was only really sort of the aftermarket work of, of custom houses like Venom that really created a, a great muzzle setup uh, for the 77. Now, Virac recognised this themselves, and you can see that in later air rifles such as the 97 which took on a lot of those learnings but right from the get-go with the Mark 1 air arms got it absolutely right. Now when he moved on to the Mark 2 the biggest change was was actually this. Now this is a, a very much a either uh, love it or hate it uh, feature and it's as you can see you've got the slots here on uh, on the cylinder so as you pull back these ratchet into an anti-bear trap mechanism here that makes a hell of a racket, but it is incredibly safe. Uh, and it means that you've got an extra level of security when you're putting your uh, thumb into the into the chamber to, to stick a, a pellet directly into the rifling. Uh, and if I do that, you'll hear it now. It makes quite a racket. People have always said in a hunting situation, it's uh, it's going to scare rabbits away for a, for a second shot. But I'll be honest. Um, I, I've, I've never had anything hang around that long. So all you do then is press that button down and you can return the underlever. So very, very good, very safe feature. And um, as I say, for the Mark III then, what they ended up doing was having a, a ball barrel. So the Mark I and Mark II had a sort of a skinny barrel with a silencer at the end. The Mark III had sort of a ball barrel, still has an integral silencer and baffles in there but now they're sort of hidden and shielded. This version, just keep the muzzle safe there, is, is a very early Mark III. So as it has a sort of normal scoop line checkering and a slightly angular butt, which is very, a sort of cheek piece, which is very reminiscent of the uh, Mark I and Mark II. More recent examples, because this, obviously this rifle is still very much in production, have some very fetching, it's sort a of fish scale checkering. I prefer sort of skip line personally, uh, but I know most people sort of really do prefer the, um, uh, the sort of fish scale of, of the modern variants. So this example, as a very early Mark III, it's probably just coming to about 20 years old. So at 177, got this sort of courtesy of uh, Perkins Guns in Staverton. So thank you to, to Martin and the team there. And uh, now we're going to sort of, let's say, take it to the, uh, the range, shoot it at 25 metres and see how we go. Final things to mention, um, just very similar to the uh, the Virac 77. It's got exactly the same sort of style cross bolt safety at the back of the action here. Not resettable, so unlike the Eclipse, but like the Virac, you can't reset this one to self. Um, but one thing I will say is where it does vastly surpass the uh, the Webley and matches the Virac is in the trigger. The Air Arm CDC unit, one of the best production trigger units. Uh, you can get and particularly in, in the spring air gun world phenomenal trigger and we'll see that really helping with some of the accuracy testing later on
So as you can see there, uh, Living Optics reputation and the fact that the TX200 has won so many field target trophies over the years. Uh, phenomenal accuracy, this has got to be one of my, my most accurate spring rifles. Obviously helps us in 177, so helps if I'm, I'm doing any sort of HFT or anything like that. But look, this is a, a 20 year old example. So this isn't like it's straight off the production line. Uh, this has been sort of used heavily, mildly abused and look, still shooting like a, like a tuned air rifle. So look, really enjoyed that. This is, a, as I say, you know, very near the pinnacle of, of British underlever making uh, and really at the vanguard of, of the British air gun industry's response to the Virarch 77. And, uh, and what a great example. Some would argue it's not a British rifle it's obviously very heavily inspired by the, the Virac and a German Wolfer barrel as well. But for me, uh, especially looking at the, the guys working so hard down there at Air Arms in Sussex, this is a phenomenal example of British, modern British CNC craftsmanship. Uh, and we should be incredibly proud of that, that Air Arms not only produced this rifle, but continue to, and it's still setting the standard across the world. So, look, re really enjoyed this one. Um, a rare rifle I really enjoy shooting even today and uh, really happy to share that with you. So thank you again for uh, joining us today on the Classic Air Gun Show. Please uh, like, subscribe, add comments and in particular let me know if there's any any sort of brands or rifles that you really want us to look at on the show and uh, if we haven't got it already we'll find someone that we can borrow it off. Thank you very much.